Corner Spatey. Uh, this is, I think, the first time it's just been you and me on the show. It is. So it's myself, Nick, and Yulia. Hi, that's me. <laughs> and uh, yeah, Kieran. Uh, first off, congratulations to uh, uh, our our newest father of the bunch, uh, Kieran. Yeah. So he's gonna be um, gone for a while, and <laughs> Rob is doing cia shit or something uh, i don't know typical he, Rob. yeah he'll, he'll he'll be back late at night on a mission on, yeah <laughs> he'll come back at like four o'clock in the morning on like a thursday or something <laughs> who knows but yeah so uh, it's just it's just the two of us palling around uh drinking tea mm. having a having a real you know normal one <laughs> while the rest yeah. of the world and the rest of western europe and the united states is not and exploding yeah. but um yeah I guess before we go into it, we're going to quickly just kind of give an overview of what the next few months are going to look like on the show, because our podcast, Papa, is now an actual Papa. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so the the format of the show is probably going to change a little bit, if not a lot of it. What we're going to try to do... Of a lot of it. yeah. <laughs> what we're going to try to do is try to see what... like dumb ideas that we've had not that kieran wouldn't let us do these <laughs> oh, but they, it's kind of like that you know yeah dad's not around so we're gonna become stupid and yeah, do really dumb ideas parties we're gonna, yeah uh uh what's the word in german for when your parents aren't home uh sturmfrei. yeah that's kind of we have yeah we, we, is that a problematic term by the way sturmfrei? I don't know. why does it sound so german and like yeah it sounds fascist shit it's, that sound fast. Yeah. yeah. So you, yeah, we have we have Sturmfrei. Dad's dad's not home. Yeah. So We're do like uh yeah Project X party. <laughs> <laughs> Project SS party. <laughs> oh god. And we're gonna play party rock anthem <laughs> on repeat. <laughs> on repeat. And, yeah. And, yeah. And the Irish version that Kieran showed us. Of course. Yeah. But um yeah, so the the podcast can become fast now. Uh, <laughs> hope you guys are okay with that. Kill uh, was the only left wing person yeah. on the, on the it show. It was all a ruse. <laughs> uh, this is 1488 radio. <laughs> so good. Um, no, so expect more like, I mean, yeah, history stuff from Rob. Yeah. I don't know what else we had planned. We had a whole list of things. More interviews with people, yeah. more, more regular guests on, probably. It'll be fun. Mm -hmm. I hope you stick around and don't completely hate the show because your because favorite Kieran's member. Because Kieran's gone. Yeah, because your favorite member of the show's gone. Yeah, he's everyone's favorite. <laughs> yeah. But he's so my favorite. <laughs> he's, my, he's, he's one of my three favorites. Oh, yeah. He's one of my three favorites. Yeah. yeah. But, um, yeah, so this, this week, uh, you know, the cops have been uh, on one uh, yeah, throughout there. the world. Yeah. And I guess kind of kicking this all off was then, because we're recording this on Friday. So yesterday, I guess it was technically this morning for us, was yeah. the police being acquitted in the U.S. for the murder of Breonna Taylor. Yeah. No, it was yesterday, like already. Oh, the already news. yesterday yeah, our time. Okay. Yeah. I, everything's just a blur when it comes to like yeah. these two time zones. Um, they were found uh, not guilty. They weren't even put up on charges for murder. They were put yeah. up on charges for discharging a weapon into the neighbor's wall. So three yes. shots into the wall. Yeah, they were put on charge for the for the bullets that missed. Yeah, as as someone has yeah, said it or as someone tweeted. Um, yeah, I, I think, think that, that was that, really like, accurate. Poster, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, it's disgusting, it and really it really disgusting. weirdly comes on the same date as the uh, as Emmett uh, the. The day where the police were also acquitted for the murder of Emmett Till, or not the police, the people who did it, because it wasn't even the police. It yeah. was just a random group of people in Texas. Um, so, yeah, the U.S. still sucking a lot. Yeah. But don't worry. Uh, the <laughs> German police have been trying to one-up the American police. Oh, yeah, definitely. And um, I think we did this a few weeks ago with the... What was the thing like Day X? Oh yeah, yeah, that was yeah the uh, army shit mostly, but yeah, you also have that in the police. So not only the army has a uh, racism problem, as we all know, but also the police. Yeah, it would seem um, like there's like one encompassing ideology that just fits both of them exactly. Quite well. So Wonder yeah, we already is. talked about chat groups for uh, army guys uh, in 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 Germany, but this seems to be a common thing to have racist chat groups with your <laughs> bros uh, with your yeah kameraden how we would say in german um because a week ago uh it was unveiled 
um, that uh, revealed, not unreal. <laughs> Can you say that? that, that okay. Yeah, I guess it it was works. revealed that they. I'm not your English teacher. I don't. I'm not here to okay. criticize um, your language good, skills. Because I'm tired. <laughs> it was revealed that um, there was five. Um, I think there were like five chat groups of um, the police in Essen, which is already known to be quite racist. Um, and uh, yes, the fucking Hauptsitz of German racism is Essen. That's it. Yeah, <laughs> I I totally knew that one. <laughs> no, Fuck but, off. no, but yeah, I I will explain uh, a bit. Like, You're also from NFV, so maybe this is like a little like NFV factoid. Yeah, that none of us yeah, know. It's, it's it's cool fun facts about NFV. Yeah. Um, what are the most racist parts of NFV? <laughs> Essen, Essen, Duisburg, yeah. uh, <laughs> Ruhrgebiet. I don't know. Well, yeah, I'm probably right about all those, aren't yeah. I? But yeah, so a week ago it was like revealed that there was um, there were like five group chats or something among the police in Essen that had a lot of racist uh, content, and yeah, um, well, it said before like twenty nine people involved. Now they added the number to like the the number um, like uh, has has risen to thirty one. Yeah, so, so they added more bros yeah. to the group chat. <laughs> to the group chat. Yeah. To the racist group chat. Um, and um, actually only, I think, 11 or 14 are investigated against right now because there's something like Verjährung. Um, years gone by. Yeah. So maybe it's very old racist content in some of the messages. So some of the police uh, men, they couldn't... Uh, some of the police people... <laughs> um, Cops. Let's call them cops. Sorry, <laughs> uh, some of the cops couldn't couldn't uh, um, uh, couldn't be uh, like they couldn't investigate uh, against them because it's that's so like the most stereotypical bullshit German law I've ever heard yeah, of. Like, oh, you can't be investigated for being racist because you're fucking messages from your your messages uh, from like 2017 are just yeah, too old. Yeah, yeah. Where then they'll like 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 if that were to happen to like. Any left wing group would be like, "Oh, you posted, uh, yeah. you wrote, you, you wrote in this like obscure Marxist journal yeah. in like 1983 <laughs> about how you want to like abschaff in Deutschland. <laughs> yeah. uh, you know that's Volksverhetzung, and you're yeah. getting like, 15 years in prison. Yeah, exactly. Like that's like <laughs> it is very much. I mean, obviously, I think we've we, we've covered on the show multiple times that then like the um you know, and we can go a little bit Rob like you know Gladio brain on this Ooh. one <laughs> where. Uh, it's not even a conspiracy. Like the the inner workings of the German state are very much run by the right, and in many oh, yeah. cases run by the old right. Yeah. Uh, depending on how far, and I, I I do legitimately think that there is like a torch like handing off that goes of like, hey, are you fascist enough to be a part of this group? <laughs> like, there's no fucking coincidence that like fucking Hans Georg Maaßen. The oh head yeah. of the, of the oh Verfassung God, the Schutz, Schutz. Yeah, yeah. That's it's just pretty much, and I have yeah. to say this. Um, with big quotation marks around it because mm -hmm. I don't want to fucking get a libel suit against me. He's pretty much quote 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 unquote a fascist. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, with just yeah, his ties to the AFD, um, his just his investigation against links extremismus, his protection of like not investigating rechts extremismus, uh, right wing extremism. Um, just being really open about it though too. Yeah, <laughs> like that's the thing. I mean, yeah, and it, it is the fashion. Yeah, I mean, he's not the head of it anymore. But the he had to new step head down into a cushy into a cushy job that paid even more. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it, it was the Horst Seehofer who offered him like a fucking like um, 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 position in the cabinet before he had to step down, and. He was actually kind of promoted by Horst Seehofer as like a punishment. You get promoted. This is how Germany works. This is how your ties to, you know, right wing ties to yeah. the government work or to state institutions. But yeah, everyone complained about that. So people were like very upset, rightfully so. So he didn't get that position. But if it, like, if it, nobody would have said something, he would have gotten promoted for being a. Being racist a stand up racist. Shit. Yeah. I th like, speaking of the, just on a, on a quick side quest mm. um and this week and just really weird news of you know speaking of the indian ministerium yeah. is that then um 
Germany has decided, or no, Europe has decided to get rid of, of quotas for countries going into the European, for, yeah. uh, for refugees for, coming yeah. into the European Union and doing them, um, as it said in the fucking ar- article, a la carte refugees. A la carte refugees. Oh my God, so, you can, yeah, so you buy, like, no, no you, you don't get 10, buy them. You, you get 10,000 euros. You get 10,000 for, for a, a certain amount of refugees. You uh, for take each in. refugee, for apparently. For each refugee. That's not enough to like feed yeah, yeah, a person yeah, yeah. No, for of a year. Not, yeah, no, no it's uh, but, like nothing. And this is like this is ah, this is so disgusting. I, I think uh, I mean yeah, they're, they're trying to motivate to have a f- uh, what is it um, a financial incentive. Yeah, yeah, just yeah, yeah. To uh, this, is, this is crazy now. Yeah, and we it's like uh, Europe financialized refugees. Uh, yeah, uh, I think a little bit of trash future like rubbed <laughs> off on us last <laughs> yeah. week. Of what oh can God. and can't be financialized? Like commodification Turns out, yeah. of uh, refugees. Wow. Oh uh, yeah. Mm, so that was disgusting. that was just the. I remember Kieran just retweeted that bizarre ass fucking I think Euro News article. Uh yeah, that really that really threw me for a loop because one, it just like we had this discussion about how Europe doesn't see refugees as people. It either yeah, sees yeah, them as yeah. then, like, you know, something you can then, like, Assets defend against or, or as, like, or, something yeah, that then, right. like, you can then, in your racist, you know, twisted German green voting yeah. mind of that, like, oh, these poor, simple people who come from oh such a God, simple yes, culture yes, 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 that then yes, we yes, can, yes. like, weirdly exploit. Like, yeah, philo racism. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. It, yeah, yeah. Um, but so back to the back to our our, our boys yeah, in blue. Fun or, fact: or, um, or tan if you're in like I think is it Bavaria that they're like tan and green. Seriously? Well, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, tan and green. Yeah, yeah, tan, yeah. Of course, b- that was before. Like now they're blue. Oh, they, okay. Like German police before always they they were wearing a uh, beige uh, <laughs> trousers and green jackets, uh, like ta- like tan and green jackets. Kind of like that drip a little bit better than just. Like and just the blue, dark blue. Well, now they look like militarized fash cops. So <laughs> I guess that's why they chose those colors before. Like even the police cars were green before. Yeah, you, you see some of the old ones. Walking yeah, you still around, have some rud- around, yeah, rudiment- transformer has cars. <laughs> 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 you still have some rudimentary like green. <laughs> yeah. In some, um, but yeah, since we were t- talking about the Verfassungsschutz, there's actually <laughs> fun news about the new head of the Verfassungsschutz. I don't know if it was the head of the Verfassungsschutz or any other uh, person. But he employed someone as a personal security guard, and this person had ties to a right-wing uh, organization, or like, or was part of it. Are you, am I supposed to be surprised? No, or but something? now like you, you, you like publicly employ them. <laughs> I mean, before you only do it with Fauman, like infor- informant and shit like that. Now you actually employ them. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, I like. I've really gone this week, and I mean, just like like the. The new, all right, so like with all the stuff going on with like the protests in the US and just how the police are just like, you know, cozying up with far right wing dudes just armed, you know, just as well as the police are, but just with these like fucking goobers who have like four like, you know, pistols strapped to their like mm-hmm. legs and whatnot, just looking like fucking idiots with just like these silly ass, like dumbly modded AR 15s. Like, first off, all right, like, they're like, they're really into that like military aesthetic, yeah. but holy shit, they all do it so bad, and it's kind of really funny. Yeah. And I much as I like want to like, I have to find a little bit of humor in something so bad. Mm-hmm. Like there is something like kind of humorous looking at them, like the U.S. of just like these guys who just like really wanted to be in the military, didn't for some reason. Easy. So they became cops. <laughs> no, 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 not the cops. The people who are oh. part of like the three percenters oh, and shit sorry, like that. Sorry, sorry, yeah. So yeah, either like I they were like economically were like too good to be in the military. Yeah. Or they just, like, didn't get in because of, I don't know, like, there was, you know, th- th- it's really hard to get kicked out of some branches mm. of the military. One guy I knew got kicked out for MDMA <laughs> from the Marines, which is the funniest what? fucking thing. You just <laughs> like, wanted to have some You were so stupid you got kicked out of the Marines. Like, yeah. just think about that. So, like, in, all, in seeing all that and seeing this just, like, yeah, the, uh, the fucking, you know, handshake meme between the oh, police yeah. and the yeah. and the and the far right militias. Yes. Like seeing that in the US is like, okay, like I get that. Like I fucking hate the US and I really would, like the left needs to really like they can't just address it by voting. Like, yeah. You, yeah. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. Uh you know, wink wink, nudge nudge. <laughs> um but in Germany it's like I always like 
I think I get a little bit of like lib brain sometimes of like, okay, like it's bad in the US, but like. So are you saying like in Germany, it's still like the nice. No, 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 not that it's nice, but it's just like. Mr. Wachtmeister, Mr. Wachtmeister. No, 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 like obviously I know that 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 the police deeply. Did you internalize the phrase Freund and Helfer? I may have, you know, I don't know, but it really is. It really is in the sense of of um, like. I don't know because it kind of comes into like 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 twofold. One, it's like obviously like the German police aren't nearly as violent as the American police. That's just it's hard to yeah. do that. It's hard to be yeah. more violent because than than the most violent yeah. police force the, in the, the world. The use of your we weapon is not actually normalized yeah. in in Germany. Even yeah. though they're starting to do that, because that is another fun fact about police in Germany at a like uh, protest protest against shit. I forgot what it was against. It was. Fuck. It I forgot. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, but uh, one of the uh, your your friends uh, Why my friend? <laughs> uh yeah, one of the cops um approached um and like Antifa group um they had a, like a banner and shit like that and uh, they also had bengalos and he approached them and uh got kind of like in a discussion or like a, a rangelei what would that be? Um uh, Pushing around with them, yeah, and then a he little, said, a little tussle, yeah, and then he said, or I, I don't know about the chrono uh, chronology of this like uh, event. I just know that at some point he said, um, "You better be careful, or I'm gonna put a, a bullet in you." The cops said that to yeah, the, the uh, cops oh, said cool. Yeah. Yeah. So we we're getting there. We're getting there to kind of like. Oh yeah, uh, wishful thinking is just the next. I mean, like I'm curious then what the next step will be. Yeah. And the German police is militarizing itself. That is. Yes, and yeah, that is true. Yeah, you can see that through like the, the all the fucking development of it. We were just talking about the colors, and I think there is a certain reason why they changed it from the friendly green, uh, beige <laughs> to blackish, to black, like blue. near black blue yeah. looks menacing. And yeah, and bang, like. Um, if you look at pictures from from the 60s, for example, student protests or something like that, oh, the police was still horrible because they shot Ono uh, Benno Onozog. But if you see the police there, they're like they look a bit like Bobby, Wasn't it like an undercover cop though. It was. It like wasn't an alleyway. Nobody really. I, I don't. I, I just know that it wasn't an alleyway, and I. Oh, okay. I don't, yeah. I don't know if it wasn't an undercover cop. I'm, I'm sorry. Whatever the I German equivalent, but doesn't matter. Yeah, 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 whatever. yeah, yeah. He was still shot by by presumably law, yeah. law enforcement. Exactly. Um, and yeah, they were. They kind of looked like bobbies, like Bobby had, like uh, British police, you know, just like with their sh um, with their sticks, <laughs> not sticks, yeah, batons. Huh? Batons. Ah, okay. That's a, oh, that's a word. Okay, thank you it is for a word. teaching <laughs> me. Um, Yeah, exactly, and not if you, if you compare them back then, like times that we thought were way more fast, or like it was way more okay to be like openly con like some conservative and right wing and shit like that, and you compare them to nowadays. Nowadays they fucking have machine guns and shit like that on the street and uh, quartz um, gloves and and stuff like that. And they look like fucking like okay, we always call them like Ninja Turtles or something with their with their whole. Yeah, uniform. with their whole get up and yeah, whatnot. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they fucking look like yeah, they they have militar uh, militarized as fuck, and you didn't have that in Germany before like that. Like, um, probably like not. I mean, like I I've noticed it since I've lived here. Yeah, yeah, of yeah How yeah. different it's become. Yeah, it changed a lot of it changed. I think like in the aftermath of like um, I don't know. I was about to say 9-11, but kind of... <laughs> probably, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Not with like presence, police presence. You see it in France as well. I don't know about them. France absolutely then. changed yeah. after 9-11. I know. The, yeah. I was in a fucking uh, metro. I was in Paris, actually, after 9-11. And they had machine gun cops and every fucking metro station. So Yeah. Uh, I mean, you'll go to like Zutkoit, some uh, not Zutkoit, uh, Ostkoit sometimes, and see yeah. like police with like MP5s and stuff like yeah. that. But regardless, yeah. So there's like there is like an obvious like militarized presence now that then's like in Germany. But kind of back to like I'm sorry, I was still like thinking about like my my lib brain thing. Is that <laughs> then just because I don't see it like like just because there isn't like literally like a shooting from a cop every day like there is in the U.S. I still then like. I think that then, like, a part of my dumb American brain has to, like, internalize and be like, well, if that's not happening, then, like, everything's, like, fine. <laughs> it's fine, yeah. But obviously it isn't. And I think that then, like, um, the thing that I find so just nefarious about the German police is how 
their like perceived in normal German society. And the thing that's mm. just this is the thing that's so weird to me is that then because you're always told about how. Oh yeah, like Libs always like obsessed about oh Germany, you know, really dealt with their past, this and that, that just <laughs> the best country, this and that. And like, well, if that was the case, then it would be really normal in Germany to just hate the police, yeah, because oh, yeah. they would be it's seen as then like an arbiter of this terror that, that they fucking did and yeah. that they were continuously a part of, and that they're you that would be they're more comfortable, yeah, uh, yeah, more um, careful with with the police and more critical of it as well because you have seen it and you would want them to exist in like the like. The ba- like you'd want them to exist like barely above like the yeah. Ordnungs. Yeah, exactly. And those fuckers like. still use the same slogan. That yeah. Freund and Helfer slogan was also a thing in, in during the Nazi uh, regime. Yeah, and then there's, I guess this also then kind of goes into the the fact too that then like I think a lot of Germans have internalized like the clean German is it what is it the the, the clean German army myth or whatever. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah, yeah. be like the Wehrmacht and the and the things of the German state, so like yeah. police and stuff like yeah, that, yeah, yeah. are free of the sins of what the SS and the actual yeah. like things yeah. of the SA, the things who were actually connected to the Nazi Party. Yeah. Um, and I, I, anyone who believes that's just stupid because <laughs> they course, haven't yeah, like like definitely. I'm I'm like. I don't know how to go about that theory, like in a not a th- like it's not even really a theory; it's just like a method of yeah. thought, right? That people have yeah. of this, like, oh, well, you know, they were just doing it because they were told, you know, because they had to, and this mm-hmm. and that and that, and it's like, yo, that's dumb as shit. <laughs> like, yeah. that's really the fucking yes. baby brain ass. Yes. Uh, I mean that that is that um. Contradicts. That contradicts, thank you. <laughs> that contradicts the whole fucking like um, essence, um, the 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 where well, the idea of police. The, po- the idea of police is um, is being well, it's being part of of uh, of the uh, well be protecting a government and protecting a certain regime. In this case, protect, protecting capitalism. <laughs> you know. And yeah, and I, 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 the thing I will say because I was thinking about this the other day too yeah. is that then there is like something I think that then a lot of social sciences really fucks up with is exactly this thing because yeah. I think in a lot of like I mean at least us as Marxists we view the police as in this like protector of capital, protector yeah. of capitalism, like in with the sense of because the law is the, most of the laws are uh, bound to uh, property. property and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. However, that isn't. Re- like there, the thing that then also kind of contradicts that too is that then just like police violence doesn't in any way protect capital. I know. Yeah, I, I'm just saying in the sense. No, of no, no. Uh, I know where this idea of of the clean and and uh, you know the friendly uh, Wachtmeister comes from in Germany is probably because they they I mean they don't see it as this. You know, they don't have the cr- uh, like uh, people in that that think that the police is actually there to protect you. As yeah. A, as a, a well, fellow it, but citizen, that's, but that's the thing though. That's <laughs> the, that that, that yeah. legitimately because all right, this is exactly it. The yeah. thing that then like a lot of like the horribly like cut and dry orthodox Marxist perspective would be yeah. that then the police are only there to protect capital, which isn't true. No, no, because it is yeah. exactly that. Like the police do have a sense of the way that then police function is by taking up these other functions. You yeah, know, like the yeah. police are not only there to then enforce like property right laws and stuff yeah. like that. Like you like the police do like you know traffic stop stuff like you running a red light is not like you know a detriment <laughs> to capital obviously no. and i think that that we have to like as i i think we do go go a little bit over the top sometimes with our marxists and not, not you and i personally mm. but like as marxists of uh, that then connecting every single thing to then how it intertwines with capitalism yeah, but yeah, the thing yeah. that yeah. makes the police so effective is that that they have they have embedded themselves within society as something that then that well you can't live without us because who's gonna do exactly. this who's yeah, gonna yeah, do that yeah, who's yeah. gonna you know watch out you know who's gonna protect you yeah that's you know yeah, who's that's why when I it really isn't obviously yeah. about you of course yeah, yeah, not. of course not you know no. depending on who you are you know what your background is this and that and that the police aren't gonna come and protect you yeah and that is like there are obviously a lot of contradictions within the foundations and how the police fit into like the regime thing of like a state. Yeah, that that is why I said not only mentioned like the regime, like uh, economic regime yeah, or yeah. like uh, the regime of like capitalism, but said also like uh, the monopoly of of power in the sense of like for state. Yeah. So it's also tied to that. Yeah. So and and with that, I'm I'm talking about society. 
you know. Damn, we live in a fucking society. <laughs> yeah, bro. yeah. Right. I mean, it's like yeah. it's like the thing of like the like the uh, like you know because Germany was like one of the first countries to have like a social welfare system thing. It wasn't done because they liked you know the idea oh, no. of it. It was to no. be it was to pacify it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Bismarck wanted to pacify the working the s- class. They wanted uh, like when when we talk about that, yeah. the, like the beginning of of German welfare systems and about Bismarck, he he wanted to yeah he wanted to pacify the working class. He wanted to get rid of the uh, social democratic party like SPD. Um, yeah. He didn't want them to he organize. Literally he made them illegal. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, Wanted to get rid of them. He did. So he he gave them little like handouts, like uh, a bit like you know here you can have this, but yeah. uh, please don't talk about workers' rights anymore or any other kind of you know yeah yeah. And I, I mean like the police function in a really I mean in in every Western country for the most part every. I would say most countries in the world that have a, a similar police system to the United States or Germany. So you mean like a, a few times where they actually do something helpful? Uh, that's well, oh, yeah, because like, like, what's the stat of like a police actually like arresting someone for a felony is like one a year, if even that. Some for <laughs> like, yeah, no, for some it's even like <laughs> one their entire career. What? It's so low. Okay. I mean, at least in the United no. States, I don't know what it is for Germany. <laughs> But, um, yeah, no, like, the arrest rate of, like, actual criminals is, like, very, 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 very low. And okay. obviously... I, I don't know about the stats. So okay, yeah. well, then obviously comes into the yeah. sense, too, then then what becomes criminalized, which is yeah. then how you have, obviously, in the U.S., like, the war on drugs thing and whatnot, something that, yeah. luckily, Germany didn't get too crazy no, with. No, no. <laughs> but there is, yeah, I mean, there is, like, an obvious sense of that, then, the reason why, then, there is such a... I mean, not that there's, like... I mean, yeah, because even within the debate right now, primarily in the U.S., but it's also kind of drizzles over to here, too, with the, like, abolish the police versus the defund police mm-hmm. thing, is that then a lot of libs still buy into the thing that then the police have this function that then, yeah. you know, oh, well, they are, they do help you, this and that and that, yeah. without understanding that then, like, all of these other activities could be yeah. dealt with, obviously, by someone who is better at it. And, yeah, and the, and the, that is interesting with, like, uh, what you're saying, because... Um yeah, people still buy in into the image of the police, and it's actually like it's a crucial part of being a police. Uh, I mean, like I a think cop. Chief Wiggum's hot, <laughs> and I want to do exactly. He's that. also a great uh, cop. <laughs> he does a lot of very substantial work in Springfield. I mean, we could replace all the cops in the world with Chief Wiggum. I don't know if I made the world better or worse, but you know, fuck it, we'll see. Roll the wheel, Chief Wiggum cops for everyone. <laughs> fuck. Um, but actually. I'll Albanian Chief Wiggum. <laughs> Albanian Chief Wiggum. <laughs> okay, I, I just say okay. Because uh, Albania also gets new cops and they're Albanian Chief Wiggum. Oh, okay, nice. <laughs> um, but yeah, actually what I want to say about this image, it's actually like a crucial part of being a cop is, well, it's to protect this image of the police because going back to Essen, um, the the uh, initiative, um, Essen stellt sich quer. So how would you translate that? Uh, it, it, uh, it's German. So yeah. It's, it's, yeah. So it's it's actually so this um, Essen stellt sich quer is an initiative uh, uh, like um, 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 well the combined um, it's a, a collective of of different organizations against uh, white ring extremism uh, in in Essen, and they um, they actually did. Um, Though they wrote a letter to the to the police chief of Essen. To Chief Wiggum. Chief Wiggum. <laughs> chief, chief What's his name? Royal. Royal, I think. Um, they wrote him a letter, um, a big, big ass letter, um, naming different cases of racist uh, police violence and and very like um, yeah, obviously like uh, like racial profiling shit like that. Actually, I can I can maybe I can find the wait. So the initiative Essen stellt sich quer. Um, which is a combination of different uh, collective of different organizations against um, right wing extremism um, or white wing, you know, action in in Essen. Um, wrote a letter to the police chief before before even the um, group chat was revealed. Before all the bros got exposed. Yeah, before the bros. Before got they, got, they all got fucking cancelled on German Twitter. Yeah. That didn't happen. And so. Yeah, they talked about um, different racist um, uh, incidents um, in the past, and they never got an answer about it. <laughs> yeah, of course they didn't. 
So um, cases were, for example, um, that a Nigerian family that went to the um, to the precinct. Is that what you call it? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, because um, uh, their wallet got stolen. Actually, there, like in Mülheim, that happened. That is part of the jurisdiction uh, of, of of Essen. Um, they got beaten by a police officer. They're like they they went in there to report a stolen wallet, and they got beaten by the police officer because racism. Uh, there was another case where uh, a family, like um, the police, was called in in Essen because um, of Ruhestörung, um, loud. Noises. They were disturbing the peace, like <laughs> like like ludicrous. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That is actually what that thing is called in the U.S. Seriously, disturbing the peace. Yeah. Oh, funny. Yeah. Well, we call it Ruhestörung. Nope. Friedenstörung. Nope. <laughs> yep. Dis Ruhestörung. Disturbing the peace. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, and since nobody was opening the door for the police, they just violently uh, got uh, access to the flat. And we're just beating up the family that was inside of um, that uh, flat. Just like that. Because of Ruhestörung. Because they were too loud or something Damn, like that. Damn, it sounds like that there was an organization that existed <laughs> from the year 1932 to 1945. Or that whatever. did exactly that? Did exactly that? Yes, this. yes. Um, that then, oh, I guess it wasn't until 1945, yeah. was it? Because they got... When did the SA stop existing? I don't know. Whatever. Yeah. Doesn't matter. So what they what they did they they yeah uh, they beat them up with their batons. <laughs> That's yeah, batons. the word. I learned it. Great. Um, and they uh, tied up a pregnant woman because of racism. Yeah, because of racism. Yeah. Cool. So these were just two cases of many many different cases. Like just right now there was something happening again. Something on the train, I don't know, you know what police does, like racial profiling, shit like that, beating people up, um, spitting, <laughs> no, they don't spit in people's faces, but <laughs> they would. That would be like <laughs> less or less bad. Yeah, probably. I mean, just getting spit on would be way less <laughs> worse than getting yeah, the shit yeah, beat out true. of you. Yeah. Um, Still bad, though. Maybe not during times of corona. I don't know. All are anyway, bad. Anyway, yeah, de dehumanizing people. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, um, don't spit on people. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but, but uh, yeah, and now after this, um, the chat group was revealed. Um, um, the police actually said, yeah, we received the letter, but we, we did a lot of, like, we were investigating. It took some time, you know, we, we looked into all of these incidents, and now we found, like, finally came to a conclusion. We are not racist. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, seriously, of course now they would talk about it, because now they, they want to show that that is not what they are. They are not racist. <laughs> the German police, this is not <laughs> us. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so yeah, keeping the image, that is a thing, um, that is a very important thing and that is where, um, that is why you, you can't be a police, uh, you can't be a cop and, and not be guilty in, in this. Uh, you, uh, yeah, be no part one's of forcing you to well. be a cop. Yeah, exactly. And you always buy into it when you become a cop because this weird kind of like com comradery, uh, comrad camaraderie. Com Camaraderie. Exactly, that thing. Too many R's so Germans can't pronounce <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. Thank you. Um, it's, it's part of being a cop. It's part of this institution. It's part of um, how many times fucking at the G20 in, in Hamburg, there were so many cases of reported police violence. None of them, I think maybe one or something, actually... Like went to well, court or like actually was was like look at like last guilty. week where then like the police union of Turing and just like went on Twitter just fucking balls out being like yeah fuck all those like left wing extreme terrorists Yo. like whatever yeah um they totally exist um like you know like calling us calling our group uh the police union a terror oh, organization true, at least yeah. we know how to shoot. Yeah, and it's like and said like you got to prepare for like uh, for something. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, fuck yeah. all of them. Yeah, they they said something like yeah. Well, now um, you've you've uh, crossed the line or something like that. Yeah, like, like you crossed the line, and we know how to like threatening yeah, yeah, yeah. people on Twitter. The police. <laughs> yeah, uh, shout out to the police union of Turing and just mm. uh, you know 
Kings. really making <laughs> that state the worst state yes. in your in in Germany right now. Yeah. Aside from Baden-Württemberg, because Rob has convinced me that that is the worst state. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, well, but I could have convinced you. <laughs> speaking of another bad state, uh, uh, Sachsen. Sachsen. Uh, okay. I believe that was in Sachsen, right? Uh, that there was a kid who. Uh, was oh yeah Leipzig yeah yeah in Leipzig so, he is normally from NRW I think also North Rhine-Westphalia um, he went to the police school in Leipzig he wanted to become a cop because he still thought that you can be a good cop apparently and he yo who's the marketing team for the police I gotta uh, yeah like, we should get them but for the left I told you like <laughs> keep like keeping your face keeping this image alive is like what they put so much fucking work in. Copaganda. Yeah. Copaganda. It is copaganda. Well, this is, yeah, we, we, we can talk about that after yeah. this. Yeah. But so yeah, no, Germany's copaganda is insane. <laughs> yeah. But go, yeah, so. So this, yeah, this uh, young lad, uh, he went to the police uh, academy. <laughs> Sorry. It was a wild and funny <laughs> time that got turned into a 1980s movie <laughs> with a couple of sequels with it, too. German Police Academy. <laughs> However, there's no Sorry. comical relief from a black character. It's just a goofy Turkish dude. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, police academy in Leipzig. So it turns out they're all racist. Um, so after nine months of spending uh, his time with his fellow racist cops, he decided to quit because he said he couldn't stand the racism. There was uh, stuff like... Um, like I'm sorry, but nine months is a really long time. I know. Like, how did he, ma how did he make it for nine months? I mean... <laughs> Um, so I'm just. This just kind of like ties back into my thing of that you have. To, I think you have to be like just kind of genuinely stupid <laughs> to yeah. join these organizations. But he believed he, he was a good lip, I, I, I suppose, or something. He believed that the cops. That yeah, good again, cops. dumb. Yeah, <laughs> dumb, dumb. So yeah. Um, I mean, good that he got out, but still, like nine months yeah. is a long time to I realize. Know. Damn, maybe the cops are. I think it was nine months. <laughs> yeah, I, I, maybe I'm lying, but I think you could have had a months. child in that amount of time. Just think oh, of true. it. <laughs> Should better like have a baby than nah, become maybe a not. cop. He's probably very young. Yeah. Um, so he like incidents that he encountered, uh, he, he or he uh, like um, spoke of, uh, were that one of his teachers said, "Well, we really have to learn how to aim now or to shoot better because there are a lot of refugees. Because oh, all the refugees common, are going to be coming. coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Something like I that." Also, uh, like a regular use of the N word. I mean, yeah, and 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 various race racial slurs. So that, uh, yeah, those were that just like among many incidents. It took uh, up nine incidents. months to realize that they were racist. Yeah, <laughs> no, maybe nine months. Maybe I'm wrong. Sorry, that's just the number I remember. So maybe maybe uh, three weeks. No, no, it took him some time. <laughs> Three weeks and nine yeah. months are drastically different periods of time. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was several months. It was several months, okay? Okay. I, I, yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so um, then he was asked by the um, journalist, um, I think it was VDR, so West German uh, TV, uh, public. Uh, Westdeutsche uh, Rundfunk. Yeah, Westdeutsche Rundfunk. <laughs> And uh, if he if he like lost his trust in or if he would ever think about becoming a cop again, they didn't say cop though. Um, and uh, he he said no. <laughs> he still like it still sounded like he believed that um, there are good cops because he said there are people there that he thinks that are not inherently racist. <laughs> um, but he also did criticize this kind of like structure that the police has. As I said before, this is a crucial part of being a cop is, is well, having each other's back no matter what or not like uh, reporting incidents like this. Oh, yeah. No, of I mean, there's like like that's such a an, like open known scene, yeah, not yeah. even secret. Everyone know. fucking knows yeah. it. Yeah, But this this is why it doesn't like a lot of the times you don't have any any convictions or something when it comes to police brutality in Germany. Yeah. Because nobody talks. That's cool. And you don't even have like you don't have like a reporting uh you don't have a, a neutral uh non maybe non police um um Mm, department that then department would re you could report where to. You could, yeah, report to if these incidents. I think a lot happen. of places in the U.S. don't have that either. Depends think, on the state. I think maybe no one has that. I don't know. 
Uh, uh, I, I, I would imagine yeah. that some countries have to have that. Yeah, probably. Because yeah. that seems like a pretty good... But it should be uh, given, you know? Yeah, of to course. The police should not be but investigating their own crimes. Exactly. That's a fucking obvious exactly. thing. Yeah. Um, but that just felt like, I mean, kind of like back to the sense of, of... Actually, people are calling right now for uh, the investigation, like a neutral, um, uh, ac- like a wissenschaftliche, uh, ac- um, s- scientific investigation of the case uh, in, in Essen. And Royal, uh, like, didn't, didn't, the police chief didn't want them to do that. He said, well, it took, would take too much time, and I wanted it uh, to happen immediately, the investigation. But this is, again, it's kind of like, I don't know if that is rec- really his motive, or if it's kind of like the whole, like the same thing that Seehofer said, that uh, actually this I is I mean, obviously absurd. the thing, the, obviously this the thing that then he's yeah. so afraid of is that then, like, it will literally More expose will probably be every single person yeah. in his fucking precinct, yeah. and then some, yeah. or whatever, in all of Essen. Yeah. Like, I think then the thing of it is that it's not just that, that it's like, I mean, because... You know, we were talking about that it isn't just a few bad eggs. And I'm sorry, like, okay, if there's, like, 31 in these few groups, how many other fucking groups exist? Oh, yeah, that That are just not uncovered yet. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Or, you know, how many things are then, like, how many then of these people then are connected to, like, actual far right-wing organizations and stuff like that? Probably a lot more than you would expect, of course. I mean, just going off the fact of how many Nazi tattoos I see on police officers in Germany is already absurd enough. And they think that they're fucking clever with their runes and shit and whatnot. We all know what that fucking means. That's so obvious, guys. Jesus Christ, just be a man. Get the fucking SS logo tattooed on you so we know, (laughs) so everyone knows. And you'll never get a job again in this fucking country. (laughs) Just just, just do it. Of course you get a job. You can get a a job at the Verfassungsschutz. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Like, obviously. You can can be a... No, you wouldn't because it would be... Like, that's the only thing, like... An well, they open did it display. Now. An open display. They did it now with the security guards. So I think no, but did he have like <laughs> just like this is the thing is that the only thing that will really just get you canceled in Germany yeah. is if you just fucking tattoo a swastika on your neck or something like that. Yeah. And even then, even then, you can like get interviewed by uh, German TV stations about how is your holiday on Mallorca during the Corona pandemic. Yeah, I mean, but that wasn't yeah. a swastika tattoo. That no, was it like, wasn't. That was one of those like, like those quote unquote clever Nazi the tattoos clever Nazi that are just a, like <laughs> Thor's hammer or yeah, like yeah, yeah, ruins. Yeah. More or subtle. I just saw a dude <laughs> the other day with an MP40 tattooed on him. Like, yeah, yeah dude, you fucking got a a, a, a not like a submachine gun that was only used during the yeah. years between 1940 and 1945. Yeah. Tattooed oh, it's on not you. <laughs> yeah, and maybe that appeared in some like random wars around the world. But yeah, no, I'm pretty sure that you're not a big fan of it's like, like the, the Nazi loud Ocean, like like people's army or something yeah. like that. <laughs> it's like that Nazi tattoo girl saying the SS uh, officer is... Uh, oh, the one from Hellboy. Yeah, it's the oh, one from yeah, Hellboy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they have, as, to be fair, they have SS officers in, in yeah, Hellboy. I think that she just got it with the swastika, <laughs> mind you. <laughs> yes. she, did, she did not get it for the reason nope. she's a big Hellboy fan. Oh, yeah, yeah. Along yeah. with her <laughs> other tattoos that said like Blut und Ehre. Oh, yeah, and yeah, yeah. Like and, and her husband that has uh, yeah, also swastikas and SS yeah. uh, runes. And, just yeah. disgusting. But, yeah, so, like, back to the cops thing, I think yep. that then one of the most interesting things for me, not being from this country, is seeing, because you're talking about copaganda, and copaganda in yes. the U.S. is significantly different than here. Probably maybe the only outlier being, like, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, which is like, oh, look, where the cops were goofy. Ha-ha. I'm Andy Samberg. Ha-ha. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, like, I, 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 I like that show, me and too. I kind of hate how much I... I <laughs> Like we'll ignore the propaganda of it. Of uh, like, yeah, we're just good detectives, this and that and that. NYPD, but huh? Germany, <laughs> like the rest of the shows in the U.S. are like, we're you know, like you know, solving crimes, being badass cops, boom, boom, bang, bang, boom, shoot them up. I'm yeah. an, you know, I'm Agent Jack Bauer. I'm gonna solve <laughs> terrorism in, in a day and not sleep. Jack Bauer. <laughs> yeah, twenty four. Yeah. I know, I no, not the it. not the cat from It's Always Sunny <laughs> in Philadelphia that Why they not? named Jack Bauer. <laughs> That'd be way cooler. Yes. But um, the uh, uh, for people who aren't in Germany, yeah, maybe they do know about shows like Tatort and stuff Tatort. like that, um, and other like Every movies and, and TV shows about the about the police. But the the main one is Tatort. Yes. And Tatort is literally just like one. Could you make if you could make the most boring show that you can ever think of about the police? Now make it more boring, yeah. And then make it like really like 
horribly detailed so that, yes. the, like, so that Germans will be like, I'm smart because I watched this I stupid figured this one fucking, out. Yeah, I figured this one out because I'm, I'm, I'm a fucking and dumb as shit German. And you got to like, uh, broadcast it on like, at pro, like prime, prime time, time on, on Sunday. Sunday. So the yeah. whole family can sit together and watch German cops uh, sort of crimes. And actually they add a little bit of like local patriotism to it. So like yeah, regional patriotism. So you have like Münster. Which yeah, you have Münster. Which cup. you will actually like sit down and watch <laughs> Tatort Münster, which I oh think is God, disgusting. Stop, stop. It's I don't dis- do that anymore. Oh, you don't? No, okay. of course not. But For like but years now. Your sisters? Probably. Yeah, they hundred percent do. My, well, not my little sister. She watches just soccer on Sundays or something like that. Okay, fine. Yeah. All right, but then there's like there's like Münster Tat or yeah. what Hamburg, Hamburg, Berlin, Munich, Munich. There's also one in. There's also one in not Salzburg or something. Yeah, yeah there is. There's, yeah, there's, there's one there's in like Austria. A, wow. And uh, then there's like random ones. There's like pop. random, yeah, like yeah. Weimar and shit like that. Oh, they have the cool people in Weimar, like Christian Ulm and some other like young fresh team in Weimar and they have like Leipzig or I don't know I don't Leipzig know Leipzig where many you just you just slip and fall <laughs> and join a Nazi organization exactly, exactly. <laughs> that's it yeah they should make it more realistic I, I, I think. tripped I'm in combat 18 I don't know how this happened <laughs> it was never my I intention I fell in a Roman salute I'm so sorry I can't I'm <laughs> no. stuck this way you have to get me out of the of, out of the <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah yeah i i this is something that then i think is really just deeply ingrained into the german psyche of like making most people that have this opinion about cops because the show came around in like the 70s oh. it did not like they still use the same the same i don't know when it, yeah yeah but they, they still use, use the, the same 70s and, yeah. like like intro for it Which and it's kind of like, cool it was kind <laughs> of like like where the u.s had these like you know, kind of like Miami shoot Vice. Em. Yeah, yeah, well, Miami Vice is the eighties, but like so, like yeah. Starsky and Hutch sort of oh, shit yeah, yeah, and whatnot. Yeah, those guys, yeah. Germany tried to do it, but like we'll be technical. Yeah, and like we'll be <laughs> we'll be like the cops that then like aren't out there shooting up and this and that. We're gonna no. solve crimes where the police actually yeah solve detectives them. like yeah yeah. But it really has then gone like I really legitimately think that it's gone and just like created this brain worm in the German so no brain. So action that's actually the action is solving yeah. the crime exactly, <laughs> and it's like. And it's all the thing that's always like really funny yeah. to me is that the only ones I've ever seen has just been stuff with just like like absolute perverts doing stuff. Yeah. Just like a dude who's just like really into fucking, like does a crime or whatever. Yeah. I don't know. It's yeah. really German, is what I'm trying to yeah. say. Like, <laughs> Definitely. This dude who had a piss fetish <laughs> and he <laughs> murdered his piss it's bag. Absurd. It's really absurd. And you, yeah, you, you have a lot of like societal topics. Like piss to, pigs. Like the piss German pigs. tradition of, of <laughs> piss schwein. <laughs> and the cops always have some, st- like they're struggling with their demons as well. So this cop, for example, he just got left by his wife. This cop's wife and family died this cop has an alcohol p- like alcoholism problem or something like that it's kind of you know it's like this a cis uh guy from cis like las vegas that uh, always would go on wait, the what? fucking cis like csi wait. i mean oh okay C- 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 yeah, csi las vegas Did guy you know that, that ncis is like the most watched cop show in the united states yeah I saw someone saying like because all cops are cancer, and then the dad said also the the like the cool chick from N the goth uh, chick from yeah NCIS, the goth chick yeah, yeah. From she's NCIS. canceled as, as fuck yeah she is canceled yeah. everyone's I mean, canceled but like but that but, that, but like um, like and I think like CSI and sh- like that kind of also try to do the same thing as well but with a little bit more action too where Germany just really is like kind of I think instilled this mentality of like the cops are just doing this really difficult job because they're always yeah. solving crimes and that's it. <laughs> like that's what cops do that is yeah yeah it's like it's like oh, for, for I think for most Germans they've just internalized like they're just doing tot or every single day <laughs> <laughs> they're solving all the piss pig crimes oh in Germany <laughs> Yeah, you have a lot of like problems with the tat or of like uh, it being a bit like racist. Oh yeah, <laughs> like after of the time. like like after the like like when oh, the quote unquote refugee crisis happened, oh, yeah. like how many fucking just like horribly Islamophobic episodes oh, yeah, of Todd yeah, yeah, yeah. just uh, popped out of nowhere? So this kid like, wants to become a terrorist. This kid joined ISIS. Yeah, 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 yeah. stuff like that. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, but that is actually, yeah, that's the idea of, of cops and police work in Germany. Like, everyone who, like, not everyone, but yeah, a lot of people think that that is actually it. I think they should make a tat or f maybe about the fucking riot cops that are beating up people, and that would show the true face of the b police. Or like a fun Nazi yeah, chat evicting, group. Yeah, evicting people out of their houses exactly. for a Swedish uh, housing company. Oh, yeah, or yeah. Parking, uh, or, or putting like a fucking... Uh, back um, like on, on uh, like uh, 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 oh shit this Todd Ort the police <laughs> light someone on fire in their cell and get away with yeah. it I mean you have cases like the police like what happened in I think in Berlin yeah actually in, in Friedrichstein or Kreuzberg or something was this on Todd Ort or in real life no in real life oh, okay. um, of someone like they, they put a back over like a uh, um, um, uh, homeless uh, woman's oh, face oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Uh, and fucking like removed threw all of his stuff in the trash like the little stuff that she had and like she like they put they were fucking kidnapping that woman like seriously what kind of measures are that and and then they 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 then the fucking um Bezirksbürgermeister so the mayor of the district would thank them for cleaning up the area and making this area livable again like yeah there was a person living there You fucking threw her out and you fucking threw her stuff away and shit. And there are people bragging about, like, police, like, cops bragging to their colleagues about how how they, like, beat this person up or something like that or punch this person in the yeah. face. Yeah, well, that's, that's, yeah, that's, that, that was like when, um, when my, uh, when my friend was in the Navy and I asked him because he had to do training with Blackwater, which is, you know, yeah, yeah that's fucking sick. Um, and he was saying that then just how like normalized it is that then like every one of the dudes that then he was in the unit with were just like asking like oh so how many people have you killed and you know wherever yeah. and they would just be really open of like oh yeah I murdered like you know 18 people for no reason whatsoever yeah. and just being really open to the yeah. fact that they would just like grab people bring them into the middle of nowhere people who were completely innocent and then just like them. execute them because yeah. they felt like it yeah. you know because it was fun for them and I do think that like that similar culture is very yeah. much ingrained in obviously the police oh as yeah well. of course it's, you gotta have like a like kind of of like a tendency to like be power a piece of shit. yeah 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 to like abuse power or be in a power position and we always know like what what we could talk about like power and power relations right now but that would go to like much into I just don't want to yeah exactly yeah but yeah you you kind of have to have like a a fetish for a certain power you know position who has a fetish for power Michelle Foucault yeah exactly so uh, yeah, yeah I, was, I was thinking oh no we're not doing a Foucault right here now <laughs> right now <laughs> we've turned it around back to piss pig yeah. or wait no he was really into like BDSM and shit maybe yeah. he was a piss pig we don't know maybe I don't care I, I don't yeah I never ask him <laughs> you can't he's dead yeah, I know. but yeah no I mean there really is there really is like a, a, a I don't know. I mean, obviously, it's unfortunate that there are, like, it isn't just everyone who's attracted to then, like, the power thing. The very unfortunate thing is that there are a lot of people who do buy into, like, the good cop myth who are like, yeah. I'm going to be different and this and that and that. And that yeah, legitimately, yeah. like, breaks my heart that, like, one, that they're that gullible yeah. and just, like, two, that then, like, they're probably never going to realize that they're, like, also deeply ingrained within this problem. And yeah, yeah. like, are they probably a good person? Yeah, but they're then tied to an institution that then makes them a bad exactly. person because they're not then doing anything about yeah. it. And simply just no like, one has to be a cop. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, so on the note of not being a cop, um, you know, we have the uh, the, the Jordan Peterson uh, 12 rules for <laughs> abolishing the police. Apparently. It's eight. <laughs> um, but it's not written by Jordan Peterson. <laughs> nope. Uh, um, so you found this week, I guess this is a little closer for the uh, for this episode kind of. From what is it, Neues Deutschland or from from Supernova? From Supernova. So the the cool oh, hip magazine of Neues Deutschland gave like <laughs> the you know your uh, BuzzFeed quiz of how are you going to abolish the police? Yes. So or why to abolish the police? Because that, yeah, this is about like why we should get rid of uh, cops. Yeah. Um, uh, because a lot of the times you have this, oh, why we should just like defund or reform them or something like that, never worked. Like the defunding, maybe like that's a start. That's a that's a start, but that shouldn't be the goal. Well, this is the thing that then kind of goes with the defunding thing is that then you have to make it so that then the police have no control over their budget whatsoever. And I know that I don't know how it is in Germany, but I do know that then like I remember seeing. When that discussion started in the U.S., it was like the yeah. LAPD 
has like an M wrap specifically for school shootings that they've never used. Wow. What? Yeah, it's wild. And I don't know, like, I mean, I get that they get it like from the Department of Defense as like, you know, stuff that was used in Iraq or Afghanistan that then's repurposed for police use. Um, but it was like an M wrap with like grenade launchers that then they also had to and a bunch of other shit that then like there's there's no yeah. reason for any of that, and I know that there's an entire deep thing, which obviously, if anyone wants to read any of like the stuff about policing, plenty of good resources yeah. out there of how like the U.S., particularly U.S. military, ha- U.S. police has become so militarized since the you know nine since nine eleven. But um, yeah, like I do not imagine the LAPD getting rid of like other MRAPs, oh. even though they don't need them, or any police department for that matter. No, exactly. So. Want to know eight reasons? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So first one is, and I find it funny that he, uh, like, uh, this person, wait, who's the author? I don't want to misgender anyone. Let's call it the author of this article. Um, yeah. The article is called Schöner Leben ohne Kops. Uh, yeah, having a better life without beautiful life without without beautiful cops. Without co- it's cops. the name of my post rock album. <laughs> <laughs> Eight reasons why we should abolish the police. First one is Mia and Mia, and you can explain what Mia and Mia means. Um, yeah, so for uh, 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 Mia and Mia is 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 Bavarian dialect for Via and Fia, or we are who we are, pretty much. Is that the classic? I think that's a Miley Cyrus song, actually. <laughs> <laughs> and the idea that that's like the main slogan of FC Bayern is really funny to me. Me. Yes, that is true. Um, yeah, but it's like it's a whole weird Bavarian identity thing. So of yeah. being goofballs of Europe. Exactly. And so Germany. like in, in this context it will mean actually you have something like which, which I mentioned before mentioned before in German it's called Wohlverhaltenspflicht. So some something like what well, you have you are uh, obliged to to um, have certain like manners or like to to always act right or never never like ruin the the reputation of the police yeah i have to correct myself it's kesha it's kesha okay who sings we are okay. who we are we yeah. are who we are <laughs> okay i love that song um so th- yeah you can you cannot um uh, ruin the reputation as a cop you cannot r- ruin the reputation uh, uh, like of the police that means you always have to you know, in the public, or like the uh, keep the public image of what we just talked being about. Being a piece of, of shit. Being a piece of shit. Yeah. So, um, if you would ever read on like anything, uh, any or report anything that is actually going wrong in your in your precinct, or like, oh, you you detect racism or something like that, and you actually like you talk about it, you are a uh, persona non grata. In your police group from that point on. So, wait, so the cops just have that, uh, uh, if we go one, we go all QAnon bullshit thing? Yeah, <laughs> kind of. So, I mean, I also would not want to know how many German cops believe in QAnon. Like, yeah. it's probably a staggering number of people. Yeah. But, yes, go on. So, in Germany, that means, in, in, in numbers, for example, um, like, you have about 2,000 um, cases of police violence that are actually, like... Um, that people report and that that are uh, um, investigated, and only three percent of that are actually like uh, um, actually get to trial. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it's because. Um, well, Germany has a super weird statistic in general, anyway, with yeah. this because um, I've I've found this out from my own personal bullshit. Mm-hmm. Is that Germany has a weirdly um, low rate of having things go to court, yeah. but then an incredibly high rate of conviction mm-hmm. at court like a 70 percent conviction okay, rate yeah. in germany yeah where the u.s is the exact opposite where it's an incredible everything goes to court everything goes to court yeah. and the conviction rate in the u.s for, this, for crimes in general like not yeah, just police i know crimes. because you guys have too many uh, lawyers <laughs> <laughs> um i'm sorry walk around germany and walk around berlin and see how many fucking lawyers uh, offices I'm there sorry. are in in germany you have to go through three stats uh, exam to become a lawyer and not to law school for like one year or something like well, that what are you talking about law School's incredibly long and difficult in the U.S. too. Uh, you don't have stats exam. I thought everyone can go. Yeah, you do. You have the. School. You have. You have the. The. Uh, the uh the LSAT or whatever. There's literally tests you have to take to become a lawyer in every state. Yeah. 
Yes. Why, why it's not the same? <laughs> it's still really hard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it doesn't matter. I don't know about it. So, second, uh, why to abolish, uh, abolish, <laughs> abolish the police is because they're racist. Or they're saying, well, this is called, I'm not a racist, but... I don't, yeah, I mean, okay, so the racist, I don't think we do, I think we went into that point enough. Yeah, yeah, this. exactly. And even, yeah, you talked about how, how uh, like, uh, they don't use uh, their weapons that much in Germany, but they find other ways to kill you. Um, there are cases like Uri Jallo, for example, uh, who mysteriously... Mysteriously lit himself on fire in, yeah. a, in, a, in a cell with no means to light himself on fire and tied himself why down he was, to... Yeah, why he was tied up yeah, at his crazy, arms. And you know, people will do anything, Thanks. you know, to, you know, yeah. to just blame the police, right? Yeah. Exactly. So um, there's another case. Uh, actually, um, what's her name? Um, um, she's a lawyer, Bazai Yildiz. Um, she was a lawyer for the NSU, uh, so the National Social Socialist uh, Underground, underground yeah. um, for the victims um, of of the murders of of this uh, um, yeah right wing organization. And she got threats, she and her family, several times now. It, it, it was actually kind of recent. Um, that, and they were signed by um, NSU 2.0. And the interesting thing is that... Was it like, the, in was the, it like the example of like when the uh, the cops sent themselves those thank you notes that was very clearly oh, in their yeah, own, yeah, own yes, handwriting? Yes, yes. Well, uh, in this case, um, the investigation kind of re revealed that uh, they got her data from a police computer. So you can see the ties again here in this case. So even though the cops always, uh, or Seehofer, Zehof, like Seehofer, our fucking in minister, our minister of interior always says, oh, they, there is no need for an investigation of racism in the police, which is bullshit because we have so many fucking examples, but it's always saying like, oh, this is a sole case. Like this, this is not a network. This is not, nothing structural. Einzelfall. Yeah, ein yeah. Einzelfall, exactly. So, yeah, that's number two. They're racist as fuck. Um, <coughs> number three, same, same, but different. Um, actually, this one is playing on the fact that um, even though they're, like, bind by law to, to, to treat everyone the same, like, in front of the law, everyone's the same, blah, blah, blah. They ain't. Yeah, they ain't. The reality is different. So this um, plays into stuff like racial profiling, abuse of homeless people, abuse of any kind of like um, marginalized group, um, focusing on, uh, on, on left-wing extremism instead of right-wing extremism because they're all members of it. Not all, but many, many. Um, so I mean, bros before left wing, uh, you know, uh, groups. Yeah, <laughs> that's how it works, right? <laughs> the people would always bring the argument: Why would you, we apo uh, abolish the? I always want to say abolish. Why would we abolish the police? Um, who would protect us in front of the law and shit like that? And saying like the reality is already different. You know, this law that you're speaking of is well. It says you should treat everyone the same, but. That is just not the reality. Well, I just like them the idea that then people think that it's like the police who are the ones who are like judging you in front of court. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, exactly. I mean, yes, they like are part of the legal process to a degree. And Germany has really weird laws with how police can testify and whatnot. Or in like the U.S. they can't, I don't think. It's weird. Mm -hmm. Every country has weird, weird laws about what the police can and can't do yeah. uh, in court. But yeah, no. It's so like who would you protect you? Who would who would protect you from protect you from the law? Makes no sense actually. Now when I think yeah. about it, because it's like, uh, well, wait, then the what? law is like bad. Then, yeah. and you need to be be protected because the law then is, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like yeah. so, th the law is improperly written, and the police are then there yeah. to what interpret it like on the street for you, so you don't get yeah, hurt yeah. by it or something. And the thing is, you can see it like this is like. Um, structure like um, you, you have racial profiling and and certain groups um, come in contact with the police way more often than rich Germans in Grunewald for example so and it's a fucking fact and uh, these like racial profiling is, it is also a fact that they never lead to actual like you know finding mm -hmm. criminals or something like that it's just fucking racist bullshit yeah um, number four. Um, was hattest du denn für Klamotten an? What kind of clothes were you wearing? 
I'm wearing um, uh, jeans and a t-shirt. <laughs> well, now this plays into, like, um, uh, to give it context, this is about um, not only is something like racial profiling or, like, the abuse of, like, homeless people, mistreatment of, of certain groups a thing, it's also when it comes, also the other side of helping certain groups. So, so the police is basically, well, attacking certain groups and only also, on the other hand, helping certain groups. Uh, a lot of the cases, this brings the case of, of people that have um, have experienced uh, sexual violence, for example. A lot of the times, you get weird-ass questions to relive your, your trauma at the police station in front of this dude, probably. Um, he will ask you, well, first of all, we'll not, probably not believe you, will ask you what were you wearing, stuff like that. Um, we'll not take you seriously, we'll... Well, kind of, even though you're the person that is going there, not only when it comes to sexual violence, but we had this case with a Nigerian family. You are going there to report a stolen wallet, and you get beaten up. So, actually, yeah, you're not the person that w that uh, that they want to protect a lot of the times in certain groups, etc. Uh, like, if you're part of a certain group. Mm -hmm. All right, number five. Uh, this is about the militar uh, militarization of the police. We already talked about that. Yeah, the yeah. police are getting militarized. I don't think yeah. that that's. A, I don't. I don't think we need to really go more in depth with that. No, exactly. But so um, yeah, do we actually want these guys? Oh, guys, sorry. This. Uh, yeah, this. Use guys, guys is a gender neutral <laughs> term from Italian Americans. Okay. <laughs> now, uh, I, yeah, I, I, I genuinely would feel more comfortable around the police if they just looked stupid. Exactly. Me yeah, too. Yeah. <laughs> not if they're like if not I. Makeup. <laughs> yeah, not like not if they you know are dressed in like you know pretty much all black, with like their bulletproof vest. Like who the fuck's gonna shoot a cop in like I mean I mean this seriously. I know that then obviously there are people who have guns and whatnot in Germany to a degree, but mm. for fuck's sake, like they don't need like three fourths of the shit that they carry with them. Like when's a German cop yeah. gonna discharge a weapon? Yeah, in their entire career. How often do you think a German... How many rounds do you think a German police officer goes through in their entire career? I don't know. Probably, I will guess, zero is probably the average. Yeah, if it's not average. for practice. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, in... <laughs> on, like in, yeah, on in, duty. On duty. Yeah. I guarantee you a German... a German like The average German police officer fires yeah. one round because you have to then imagine that there are people who have fired a round and then there are people who are then have not. And yeah. since you can't have point whatever rounds, it'll mm -hmm. just be then one round. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, I, I, I believe that. It's basically country. like, yeah. But yeah, no, let's give them all MP5s and fucking, uh, uh, because uh, you they know, need that, yeah. their, their Mannschaftswagen and whatnot. Definitely, uh, Mannschafts yeah. Mannschaftswagen, yeah, yeah. That's what What's we the call plural it. of it? Wagen? Huh? Wagen? What's the plural of Wagen? Wagen. 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 I don't know. I will just pretend. I, uh, sorry, I forgot my language. It's okay. I have two. I forgot my language and yours. Okay, think, so yeah, the think, police yeah. are militarized. Yeah. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Yeah, you know That's not good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, number six, the private is political. Also with the, like, this is also a fact with the police. So we were talking about this idea that people, some people say like, oh, but, but he, yeah, well, he's a cop, but I know him in private. He's such a nice uh, guy. He has a family or she has a family or something. She's so cool. She, you know, has a, Nice garden. This person in this article mentions a garden. Um, a garden is definitely like the German equivalent to that you're the best person <laughs> in the world. Yes, like. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, they have a garden. They can't be bad people. <laughs> you can't be a bad person if you had a, if, if you have a garden. Isn't that no Germans Nazis had a garden. <laughs> all right, that was the problem. Not enough gardens. Not, that's why Schrebergarten came. Yeah, that's came why they came. Because like if we give every German a garden, yeah, be I think good. that is the goal of every German yeah. is at some point having their own garden. It's actually kind of a cool goal to be yeah, really yeah, honest. Like I wish nice. I wish that I had a a, a garden. Me too. Oh well. <laughs> yeah, you know every German, every German just like you know deeply uh, uh, a cryptic, uh, uh, a crypto cottage core sort of weirdo. <laughs> yes, they kind of are when you think about it. Actually, German every German wants to go uko and. 
Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, we have this weird yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm onto something here. <laughs> we should talk about I'll, that in yeah, depth I'll, more. No, in I a don't different want to. Shut up. Uh, <laughs> Keep going. Episode, um, Tell me your twelve rules of how to become a better f- uh, fascist or yeah. whatever it is. Okay. <laughs> Clean no. my room. Uh, do what the lobster does and pet yeah, cats. Do what the lo- uh, thank you, Jordan Peterson. <laughs> Yay! Uh, shout out to the big guy. To the man <laughs> of pure chaos. <laughs> <laughs> so number six, yeah, the political, uh, uh, the private is political. So. You could, like, uh, someone would, um, if you bring an argument, why, why would you abolish the police? Like, I have a friend and he's really nice, um, or she is Your really, really a nice. Bitch. I don't <laughs> care if you're as a guard, they still <laughs> suck. Well, you are still part of this. You are still, like, keeping, uh, well, keeping up with the conditions. <laughs> um, no, you're still, yeah, you're still part of this. You're still kind of like you're supporting it, y- and and you're 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 supporting your colleagues. You're supporting the shit that is happening. You're even with your silence, you're supporting it. You know, so you can't. You can be the nicest person in the world. You're still an asshole because you're a cop, and you don't have to be a cop. If you're a nice person, don't. Do a nice person. Don't job. be a cop. Yeah. Be a fire be a fire fireman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or a fire. Yeah, a firefighter. Some. I don't know what's going on with me and pro. Uh, like. Uh, you just love dudes. <laughs> you, just want, you just want. You know. You 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 appreciate I'm sorry. that dudes rock. I, I so when I <laughs> think of the Yulia's police. Yulia's new motto for life is dudes rock. Dudes rock. Now when I think of the police, I just think of of like. Mm, I don't know. There's this study and that I read before, and it was about masculinity and cop culture and stuff like that. So maybe that's why I think. I think about hot babes who are on the Bild Zeitung ads. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. Who are gonna fucking dom me if Cop-a-ganda. I break the law? <laughs> yeah, who have like on their Instagram like like hashtag uh, thin blue line hashtag I don't know what else like I don't police know. brutality. <laughs> yes! yes, hashtag police brutality. <laughs> that's how you show that I you're a very hot about cop. That. Holy oh shit. God. I forgot about that. Oh. Uh, for those who don't know, yeah. uh, there's us. like this weird. No, it's pretty normal actually. This like German cop influencer in Berlin, yeah. and she's appeared on like the ads for Bid Zeitung. And if you live in Berlin, you've seen. If you live in Germany, you've seen them. It's just. Yeah. It's like, it's just her. That's it. And she's also a she's a she she's an Instagram influencer, and she'll like do selfies of herself, like you know, gym selfies, and then do hashtag police brutality. <laughs> 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 and it's so genius if you think about it yes. oh god oh I hate god, her those hashtags yeah. yeah she's so fucking stupid oh What's her, I don't even want to I don't care what her I name forgot. is we, uh, I forgot we'll look it up later again um, so number seven uh, well well, this is kind of weird to translate it. It's like freedom is the enemy, <laughs> because okay, this I have to explain this because well, actually I don't because you see what the police is. Th- <laughs> I was going to explain to oh, fuck you guys. <laughs> yeah, let's go to the next point. Um, no, but saying okay, uh, why like are so many left wing groups targeted? Why are not the right wing yeah. groups targeted? Because actually the right wing groups are kind of going in the direction of like an idea of law and order or extreme law and order you know like kind of having this like fast <laughs> fantasy of what <laughs> what are you laughing extreme law and order is like the <laughs> law and order tv show that like mountain dew <laughs> fucking sponsored in like 1998 yes. watch them solve a crime while doing the mega ray they're on dread bikes and shit like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> extreme law and order <laughs> How can they like, wear backwards cabs? <laughs> yeah, they're all from like Southern California. <laughs> oh my god! But like the weird part of Southern California, where they yeah. where they where they all dirt bike. Yeah, they're all kind of white trash. Yes, we're not going to talk about them. These these people exist though. Extreme law and order. Yeah, sponsored by Monster <laughs> Energy Drink. <laughs> Yeah, but Starring uh, Kyle, Chad, Chaz, Chad. <laughs> <laughs> they all named Chad and Chaz and Kyle. But yeah. So, yeah, of course you would target a group more that is kind of, like, uh, endangering uh, the status quo that you love so much as a cop. Or, like, would would if you have, like, right-wing or racist tendencies or something like that, would actually, of course, you would hate the people that fight that, right? And you would not Damn fight right the people that's, that support it. So, kind of, yeah, it's, yeah. 
I will smash any anti-communist with full force. Yes, I understand this entirely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so much uh, yeah for saying that that uh, or the, the weird r- rumor of of it being already mainstream to be super left wing, which is bullshit. Uh, no, it's not. It's very mainstream to be weirdly conservative. Yeah, here. exactly. And just in the yeah. world, I think. Yeah, you see. Right. Yeah, yeah. Um, number last eight. Last but not least. Um, it's eight, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, having a better life without cops. So basically, eight abolishing the police. Um, mm, yeah, it's basically what people say uh, that abolishing the police would lead to chaos and destruction uh, and destruction. Sodom and Gomorrah. Um, AKA, you'd be having fun, all right? Yeah. That's where the word sodomy comes from. But it's not having the police. <laughs> Sodom had no police. Exactly. Sodom had no police. See what happens? You could have stopped that. See? You see what happens when there's no cops? You get to have a cool time, and then God smites you, and then your friends all turn into salt. <laughs> Maybe. See, God's a fucking cop. Fuck God. God is a cop. Yeah, he has all those rules and shit like yeah. that. He's going to punish you if you don't follow them. Yeah. I'm saying God is a cop. That's kind of funny, though, that God just got really mad about butt sex. Yeah. What a loser. Why? The Greeks were doing it all the time. (laughs) No. (laughs) They were. They were. I know. I don't know know where's the problem. Nerd. Yeah. Um... Old Testament God was very weird. New Testament God I know. He was that revengeful, very angry, very... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is theology class. <laughs> with <Nick> and <laughs> with <Julia>. <laughs> yeah. God, kind of a bitch. Yeah. New Testament. God, God. is a cop. It's okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, th- this actually like brings the argument of of uh, protecting property rights and that the police is there for doing that. But we already talked about that, that there's more to it, definitely. But saying in general, um, and I think I've got to add this, um, like at this like this is my view saying like okay without cops like we wouldn't live in chaos and everyone would kill each other and shit like that not at all because like people don't go suddenly go crazy if you don't have a cop around the corner when i see cops i don't feel safe yeah i genuinely feel very uncomfortable yeah exactly it's not like oh i think oh shit yeah no nothing is going to happen (laughs) <laughs> because there's uniform like guy and girl. Oh shit! Sorry, I keep doing this. Why are you? Why are you so? Why do you care so much about if you offend the cops and just you use a gender neutral term? Picks. There, perfect. Yeah. Damn, that was sick. <laughs> so yeah, um, those uh, picks. Uh, um, <laughs> yeah, I d- yeah. As you said, you don't feel comfortable necessarily, and actually. W- there are other groups that can do these jobs better, and then with these jobs, I mean, like, uh, like you can have like solidarity organizations or something to help you out in a case like when you're in in danger or something. Like the firefighters, they're they're doing a great job. Who right? rescues cats out of the trees? Exactly. To be very fair, my friends had to actually do that as a firefighter, and says he hates it every time because the cats are up there for a reason. Yeah, <laughs> they don't want to be near you. <laughs> But um, but no, I mean, like, I don't. What What do you think about this? Like this argument? Oh, I can't think of a reason that I would call the police. Yeah, like, me neither. Off the top, like, even yeah. if it was like, I could, like, even if it was in the sense of like, okay, a crime has been committed. All right, yeah. you know, it's very like I'm just thinking of of, of in the sense too is that you normally call the cops either if you see something, yeah. or if you have had something that already happened to you. And typically, then the thing that then the cops are just going to come to do is just create more trauma for you. Yes. Like let's say that then you that that you get beat up. Yeah. All right. All right. So you get beat up. You know, you get mugged or whatever. The police come. They pat you down and they just create a far more stressful situation because they're just going to take you to the station, have you then file a report yeah. and do all this stuff that then probably is going to get end up like getting just thrown away because yeah. it's a petty crime. Yeah. Or if you're if you're not in a like uh, privileged position yeah. of looking like someone that they uh, if you can't afford like. a lawyer too, just on yeah, top or of it. Like yeah. That, yeah, I mean, other uh, than like or I mean, if you can just part, a part of a targeted group, you know, that is yeah. targeted by cops. Like, would you like if you you can you can become a victim of police brutality, uh, pr- p- uh, police violence, just because you call it the cop? Yeah, you of know? course. So, um, and I've, I mean, it's weird because like in the U.S., I've only had run-ins with the cops 
in like traffic stops or whatever. Yeah. And that's obvious that the police don't need to do that. Yeah. Um, and for the most part, traffic stops are there to collect money. Yeah, of course. You know, yeah, so yeah. that's a whole. That's, that's what, just a yeah. dumb, stupid scheme of that. Then the the, the the city or the state needs money, so and they're just gonna not raise taxes. But how many fucking times does that escalate in in the U.S. and like a lot? Yeah, fucking traffic sto- stops. Yeah, like people Something get killed. Then, like how many people that? have been killed because they like had a light out or not or yeah. nothing or whatever? And you know, I mean, like 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 or and then in Germany, every time I've had a run in with the cops has been in a horribly not fun situation. Mm. Either from demos or which the police escalate. Um, who the 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 demonstration would have gone perfectly fine without police presence. Oh yeah, yeah. it probably would have gone a lot better. Oh yeah. Um, or in the sense of the oh like, yeah, they're not there to protect. No, you they're there to get you out of there. As when it comes to Nazi uh, protests, they'll though. march with them and hold then hands. They're, and they're there to protect kiss. the Nazis, but when it comes to like left wing kind of kind of like topics, they are there to protect the. Property a lot of the times like like no they just want to break up the protest as oh, yeah, fast yeah. as it can yeah, yeah I know it's but there's some property no no but they are okay maybe on like like Estimai yeah yeah, they, like, yeah exactly yeah yeah stuff, I was thinking of a, that they, they literally but otherwise they're just there to kind of like escalate the situation they're not there to for de-escalation they're there to escalate the situation well escalation when they give a reason for de-escalation if that makes any sense so if they escalate the problem be like okay see they are being violent then they can yeah. de-escalate the situation by then escalating it through violence yeah does that make sense yeah you mean by de-escalating in the sense of like um um it's literally um, the tactic that ending they the ending the protest yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that's it's literally what, yeah. what they yeah. like like that's what yeah. like crowd control measures yeah, yeah, are. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. They don't really want you on the street, <laughs> to be yeah. honest. They don't want you on the street. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I mean, and then every time I've had and like every time I've had 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 an uh, con- uh, uh, encounter with the police in Germany has been because of like something really not fun. Yeah. And did they need to be there? No, they made my situation way worse. Yeah. Every single time, like I I I was more traumatized by the police being there than. If someone else would have dealt with the fucking situation, someone who was at least like more reasonable and, and better equipped for it. And actually, yeah, a lot of the. T- yeah. And then just like call me a liar the whole time. Yeah, when it comes know? to these, like the, the, the crucial things like that, when it comes to like um, assault, uh, assault or something like that, I don't think that the police is necessarily like the best. They're uh, not trained to deal with it like at all. Yeah, or they are and they forget all the time when they're in a certain situation. Um, just like how they forget the. The whatever, never mind. Yeah, uh, my my brain's mush. That's okay. Uh, too too many cops. <laughs> but actually, yeah. Otherwise, it would just be to maybe something gets stolen and you have to report it because there's some kind of insurance that is connected to it. And you report it you to your insurance only, company. Yeah, but you can only get it back if you actually report it stolen, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, shit okay, like that. Okay, so you report it's it to like the like stolen kind of like office. A bureaucracy. office. The stolen, yeah, exactly. I mean, the, yeah. like or, or the lost and found. What? Yeah. Like, or or you ha- get into a car accident, you ha- gotta call the cops because they and who they comes? They also, the fucking ambulance comes too. Know, like the police, cooler. literally, like the police just are there to make the situation just more stressful and annoying. I don't yeah. know, like I know, you know, like yeah. I, I obviously, if I'm in a car accident, the first fucking people I want to see is no, not the not the fire department, the fucking yeah. cops. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I've been in a car accident, and actually, they didn't call the ambulance. And like I, it was like a total like the car was wrecked, you know, and and I probably uh, like had a concussion or something like that, or I don't know. But they didn't call the ambulance. They were super annoyed that we called them like at three a.m. or something like that. They were super pissed. They didn't even, I don't know. They didn't even write anything down. I think. Do the police? Yeah, the police. Oh, yeah, they were yeah. super pissed. Well, um, yeah, I guess on this note, uh, <laughs> it will also benefit the cops if we abolish them because then they don't have to do their, their, their exactly, annoying ass so job annoying. anymore. <laughs> yes. uh, so, yeah. so, yeah, this was kind of a little bit more of a, a, a laid back episode, yeah. I'd say. Just us chit chatting about why the cops are trash. Uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, uh, fuck Tfoof. Uh, yeah, um, <laughs> and uh, we'll see you guys all next week, I'd yeah, say. Yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>